Hello everyone, welcome to Joystick Lab. This is the fourth part of our new tutorial series where we are making an augmented reality app to calculate lens of real world object using the device camera. So if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and hit the notification bell for latest videos. Now let's get started. All right, so this is where we left off in the last time we had uh, a few points that we had placed in the ground and we actually drew lines in between those points right now today we are going to calculate the distance now the logic is pretty simple we are basically looking for at least two points to draw a line so we have to check that if we have at least two points in the line renderer if we have two points we can then calculate those two points where they are their position using the last index and the second last index in the line renderer and then finally we can simply use the vector 3 dot distance to calculate the distance between point a and point b all right now we have to have some sort of uh, element to show this um, distance right so we are going to use the text mesh pro uh, api from unity so to do that first of all we need to uh, import that namespace so tm pro and we are also going to um, include a variable that is going to store the prefab for the text mesh pro um, and then we can simply for now we can just simply say uh, the text of that text mesh pro is going to be our distance that we have just calculated now there is a problem with this current code every time this same text mesh pro text is going to get updated so that will mean that when we add a new line the previous text mesh pro object is going to get disappeared and that is going to be updated with the new value right but what we want is that every time we create a new line we need to have the information for the previous one and the current one and the new one and all of them right so that means every time we create a new line we need to create a um, new text mesh pro object so we are going to instantiate the uh, text mesh pro object instead and then we are going to basically update that cloned or the instantiated uh, object with our distance right so every time you create a line you create a new text mesh pro object and you can update the text of that new text mesh pro also we are going to apply uh, this text parallel to the line right so we need to make a alignment so that the text is not sort of rotated like this or maybe in here or I don't know where right so we need to make this text visible just on the top of the line and it has to be parallel so we need a, need a few uh, line of uh, code to do this math and I'm going to explain this math in a separate video where I am explaining some other maths for game developers as well. Uh, but in this uh, video, we are just going to talk about the code. If you're interested in the math, you can uh, go back to the math lesson that I am providing and you can take a look into the map, right? So yeah, so first thing first, we need a direction vector that is going to uh, give us a direction from vector A or point A to point B okay and then we are going to calculate the normal now the problem with um, this new object placement API is that we don't have access to the heat information in the plane um, from where we can you know get the normal but we have something called the pose of the spawned object so we can use the pose and um, the pose is basically going to be applied to the placement object right 
and we can take the placements objects up direction to calculate the normal all right and next we are going to calculate the up vector um, using these two vector that we have the direction vector and the normal so the cross product of two vector basically gives us the another vector that is like perpendicular um, to these two vectors right so we are going to take the cross product of these two vector and then normalize it so that it doesn't uh, like depend on the length and next we are going to calculate the rotation using the quaternion and we need two parameter we need a forward and a upward direction and uh, again uh, this is going to be explained in a separate video you can look into there and why i am using this negative uh, normal in there and uh, finally we can basically apply this rotation to our distance text so we are going to apply a rotation first and then we can also apply the position so after we have the rotation we will have this text uh, parallel to this line right but we also need to make sure that the position of this text is right in the middle and a little bit up on this line so to do that we are going to uh, basically update the position using the middle point of the direction vector that means this vector and then we are going to add a little bit of offset in the up direction okay and that's it now we can save this and go back to unity all right so in unity we need to create a new text mesh pro object you can right click on the hierarchy go to 3d object and then text mesh pro and when the first time i do this they they will ask us to import a few assets so hit the import button that's done we can now close this and i'm going to make this font a little bit smaller something around maybe eight and then we can make this in a center um, alignment and then also the paragraph should be in the middle and we are going to make a prefab out of this you can change the name with something convenient and then simply drag and drop this in your uh, assets folder and finally we are going to delete this now in our line manager you can see we have a variable for m text we can simply drag and drop the distance text in here okay now we can save this and i'm going to make a build and show you the output all right so now if we add a few points you can see the distance uh, although we can see that there's a lot of decimal points but we're going to fix that uh, soon uh, there's a few changes that i made uh, on the size of the font i have changed it to 0.5 and also when we are adding the offset i have changed to 0.05 so it looks a little bit more you know uh, realistic so change the value if it doesn't work uh, for you as well and i think it should work fine 